Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem five in chapter twelve. Chapter twelve is about the static balanced. How to keep the object balanced? The net force is zero. The net torque is zero. Now we look at the system there, right? In this one, the A point is the rotation axis, and then we have four forces: F A, F B, the M M G. This one is the weight for the board. And the capital M G there, and then the distance for each one is given at zero. So first one we need to, if we want to keep it balanced, so we need to make sure the net force is zero. So F B up minus F A minus is M G minus is capital M G equal to zero. The next one the net torque is zero. If the we consider this is a rotation axis, so the net torque for F A is zero because it just cross the. This uh, rotation axis. Now we look at F B, F B up. So we use the right hand rule. F B, uh, rotate with this side. So the four fingers this up and then rotate to this side. You can see your right hand, the awesome points out, right? And then if you do this one, the M G pointing down the four fingers to the left. Then you do that way. It pointing in, and similarly for this one in, so we can take the F B X B minus this uh, torque F M G X X M and minus capital M G minus X M this one, then it equal to zero. Solve these two equations, you get the function for F A and F B, and then input the known quantities. For first situations, the small m is zero, so we ignore the weight of the board. So you can know the weight of board. This one is zero, and capital M is of five two kilogram. Input is known quantities. You can find answer there. The second case, we know this small m is twenty eight kilogram. Still, we input is the known quantities. You can find answer there. So this is the same problem, just in two different cases. So you just need to find the function for F A and F B. Then you are done. Thank you.